children who get in the habit of stopping and thinking before they respond end up uh, being better problem solvers, showing higher levels of executive function. Flexibility, working memory, inhibitory control, and ultimately successful goal-directed problem solving depend on reflection on information, including on what you know and how it relates to the, to the problem as you find it. When I tell you to play the color game, you're going to put the blue ones in here and the red ones in here. If I say play the shape game, you're going to do it the other way. You're going to play the shape game. And then the shape game trucks go here and stars go here. Play the color game with that one. Uh, All right. Play the color game with that one. That was wrong. So remember I said the color game, but when you saw that truck, you put it in the box with the trucks on it. That means that you were looking at the shape. That's okay. We'll get another chance. So where would the blue ones go in the color game? Very good. So we want to try again? Excellent. Okay. So what we found with this research is that uh, even a relatively brief intervention improves children's performance on the dimensional change card sort, but also improves their performance on other measures of executive function. When you detect a problem and then you engage in reflection, and come to a, a more sophisticated understanding of the task. For example, when you finally say to yourself as a child, oh, I get it, if it's red and we're playing the color game, I'm gonna put it over here, and I'm playing the shape game, I'm gonna put it over there. You understand that you can take the same stimulus and treat it in two different ways. You've effectively resolved the conflict inherent in the task. And what we found uh, measuring children's uh, brain activity using ERP was uh, that those children who were trained and who now performed better on the task also showed a reduction in the amplitude of that N2 components. <laughs>